Hey guys, welcome back to Pete's Garage. In this episode, we're gonna talk about how to do a visual inspection of your outboard as well as how to hit all of those lubrication points. Now we're gonna be doing this on a 50 horsepower Tahatsu. If you have a 40 or a 60, follow along. These steps will work for you. If you don't have a 40, 50, or 60, you need to check your owner's manual. All right, so for your grease points, you're gonna to wanna to hit these within the first 20 hours or the first month of owning your outboard. And then after that, you're gonna do it every three months or every 50 hours. Now, the visual inspection, you should be doing this every time before you get on the water. So this 50 has seven lubrication points. The shift and throttle linkage, the grease fittings, the propeller shaft, the tilt tube, the lower and upper tilt trim pins, and the steering tube. When you're, when you're greasing your propeller shaft, it's also a good time to check for any kind of debris, fishing line, basically anything that can get wrapped around your propeller and cause issues in there. So in order to hit these grease points, you're gonna need marine grease as well as a grease gun. To hit these grease points with Zerk fittings, I'm just gonna take our grease gun, drop it on there, and just a couple shots. See, this doesn't really need more grease. And then it's important to work that grease in and then take a rag and then clean up any of that excess grease in there. All right, same thing here. Get our grease gun on, a couple shots. And then this is the steering tube, so we just wanna work that back and forth. Make sure that that grease is getting in there nice and good. All right, for our shift and throttle linkages, you just get some on your finger, get it in there, get a nice mess going all over the place. We'll get up here in our shift linkage as well. There's a little bit of a hole in the backside. You can get some in there. And then again, once you do that, you just want to work it in a little bit. There you go. Now you've got everything greased, ready to go. All right, so visual inspection. Um, whenever I do mine before I go out, I always like to start at the bottom, work my way up. So we come down here, we're gonna check that the skeg doesn't have any major cracks, stings, damages. Um, running skinny, you can see I've got some of the paint missing, but other than that, it's still in good shape. I'm also gonna look for any kind of cracks along these seams in here. Now, if you run your lower unit into something, you might not see one of those cracks. They might not be super visible. So it is also a good idea to just run your fingers through there, see if you feel anything out of place. Um, working our way up, we're gonna check the calf plate also. Make sure your skeg is good and tight. Make sure your propeller doesn't have a ton of play in it. We're gonna go ahead and take the cowling off. So we'll make sure our oil fill cap's good and tight. Check our fuel filter. You can see more about checking your fuel filter in the video we did on changing out your fuel filter. All right, we come, up, come in over here. We're gonna check our oil level. Again, you can check the video that we did on doing an oil change on how to check your oil level. Next thing that we wanna check is all of our linkages and connections. So right here we have our throttle linkages. So if you turn your throttle, you see those moving, you know that they're working how they're supposed to. Next, we'll check our gear shift. So we got neutral, we got reverse, neutral again, forward. While you're doing this, you're also, you're looking for any kind of leaks, fuel leaks, water leaks, oil leaks. Make sure that you don't have any buildup of water or fuel or anything down in your, in your motor compartment. As part of our visual inspection, we wanna check all of our mounting bolts. If you have a jack plate, you wanna check the mounting bolts for the jack plate onto the hole as well as the motor onto the jack plate. We're gonna do this by taking our hand, putting it on the skeg, grab the motor, and then just shake it. And we just wanna look at all those bolts and make sure that they don't have any play in them. All right guys, the last thing on the visual inspection we're gonna check, now this only applies if you have a tiller, is this bolt right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our motor, we're gonna move our tiller arm around. There's gonna be a little bit of play in it, but we just wanna make sure that this bolt is tight. This bolt gets loose and there's too much play, you can end up shearing it. If you shear this bolt, tiller arm's coming off and you're gonna have a rough time getting home. I hope that helped. 
I hope you guys have learned something. Please, please hit like, hit subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, see you next time in Pete's Garage.